what we're going to do is we're going to set up the brakes. Um, you'll need a brake adjustment tool. Uh, it comes in spare parts kit with every machine that has brakes. Uh, some pickup pick machines don't have brakes, all trail machines do. So what you're going to do is you're going to pull the rubber cap off the furthest to the front hole. Um, I'm going to spin the tire. There's excessive drag on this tire right now. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, put this tool in this hole and there's a, a wheel with cogs. And I'm actually going to rotate the wheel up. So I'm going to push the handle down until I can make it no tighter. So as tight as it goes. So it's, it's at the point now where it's, it's getting hard to turn the wheel. We'll just keep, uh, keep tightening it up. Uh, the reason we're tightening it up is so we make sure that uh, when we loosen it off, the brake pads are loosening it evenly. Um, it's basically a reference point. If we go all the way tight, we know that our brake pads are in the right spot. So there, I'm, I can't turn that wheel anymore. So now I'm going to loosen it off, and that's moving the handle up. Uh, in the field, you know, if your brakes are a little loose, you might just have to tighten it up a click or two on both sides and give it a try. This would be more an initial setup or if you've uh, changed, changed brake pads. So now I'm able to turn the wheel, but there's still, still too much resistance. I'm going to loosen it off another maybe five or so clicks. And there I can spin it. There's a little bit of drag. You want to... We want some drag, but not much. So we're gonna loosen off a little more. There, that, that's about right. I can spin that wheel, it rotates freely. You can hear there's a wee bit of resistance, but not, like it's not hard to spin. Um, so I'd call that good. And then we'll just reinstall this plat or rubber cap and we're good to go.